In this video we'll talk about standardization in container networking, which is all uh, in the CNI. So container networking starts with the network namespace. Network namespace is something that is defined by the underlying operating system. And because of the network namespace each container can have its own IP address. Ports only need to be unique in the network namespace, so multiple containers can offer services at the same port. It is really as if they are all isolated computers. Access to containers normally happens by mapping a host port to the container port. And that is because the containers themselves are on an isolated network which is behind the bridge and you can compare that to network address translation. Like the computers in your home network which are not directly accessible by the internet. Now in order to work with containers there is overlay networking. An overlay networking creates a virtual network that allows containers which are running on different hosts to communicate. And the overlay network manages IP addresses that are assigned to individual containers. Uh, the big question is how are we going to create this overlay network? And that is where the container network interface or the CNI comes in. Because that provides a standard for defining the overlay network. Now related to the CNI there are network plugins. So the CNI itself is a CNCF standard that defines overlay networking and the CNI is a common interface in which is uh, used by Kubernetes but also by other projects. Then there are the plugins which are provided by the network vendors to define how overlay network is implemented. So according to the features that are needed in a Kubernetes environment, uh, different plugins are provided and vendors can do really different things uh, with their plugins. Uh, there's a couple of common plugins and these include Weave and Flannel and Calico and Multus for instance. Before we continue with the next video I'd like to make a drawing to visualize what overlay networking is all about. So container networking starts with the hosts. No matter uh, how cloud you are there's always hosts involved. So let's say that these are the hosts that you are using uh, in your on-premise Kubernetes cluster uh, or uh, even virtualized in cloud. Now these hosts typically are connected to a real network. It's your starting point. So here we have the real network and let's call it uh, EXTNet for uh, external network. Uh, now this is the default network, this is wiring, so this is easy to understand. Now we do need uh, software defined networking as well in order to work with containers. So SDN and in order to define this software defined network uh, you have the network plugin. Let's just call it a plugin. There are different plugins available. And these plugins run on all the nodes in your, uh, in your cluster. Because they allow you to build this cluster network. This cluster network is an administrative network that is used on the inside and which allows your, uh, your Kubernetes cluster uh, to pass cluster uh, management traffic. Now there is also uh, the container network. So this container network comes from the CRI, uh, the container runtime interface and that's a different network. This different network will be connected to the cluster network and this is where all of your pods are going to have their uh, IP addresses. Uh, so that means that in a typical cloud network environment at least three networks uh, are involved. Uh, on the right side that's what we call the overlay. And what is so special about the overlay? Well your cluster network for instance, your pod network for instance, that is one broadcast domain. One broadcast domain regardless of what is happening uh, in uh, physical networking. So that means that you can have routers between your different nodes, but uh, on the cluster network or on the CRI network you don't see it. And that is how uh, networking is used in cloud native environments. 